Hello, hello, and welcome each and every one of you to Spirit of Excellence Praying and Teaching Ministry with Prophetess Charlene Miles Price. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm glorifying him and giving him praise and thanks and glory. Amen. We're in Thanksgiving season. We know that every day is a day to give God thanks. But this week, praise God, coming to Thursday, we're taking out a special day to really reflect on the things that God has done and thanking him for what he's already done and thanking God for what he's going to do. So as we go in today, in the name of Jesus, I want to say I love you, I love you, I love you, and I appreciate you so much. Thank God for you being with us. Spirit of Exodus Praying and Teaching Ministry is a ministry on the move for God. Amen. And we are a mission. We have a mission, and the mission is that we edify the kingdom of God. Praise God, and that the sinner comes to Christ. Amen. We're all about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Giving him the praise, the glory, and the honor. He is worthy to be praised. Before we go in today into our session of praise God, praise God, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I decrease now that you may increase in me the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost power. I need the anointing that destroys the yoke. I need the anointing that sets the captives free. I need the anointing that destroys strongholds. Praise God and pull down every stronghold and every imagination and everything that's not of God must come under subjection to the Spirit of Christ. Father, I I thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to do. Thank you, God, for the word you're giving us today, standing on your promises. I thank you, Lord God, because you are worthy, worthy to be praised in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We're praying in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has the power and the name of Jesus has the authority to pull you over, to pull you to the other side, to the other side. Hallelujah, the name of Jesus has the power, hallelujah, to do the ascending, the ascending in your life, the abundantly in your life. Glory be to God, I feel like preaching. I feel like teaching somebody. Please invite someone. Please share. Please post. Please comment. Please help me teach the word of God. Help me preach the word of God. Praise God, I come to inspire you, but I also come to give you a revelation about the word of God. Praise God, I believe in the whole Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. It's the holy word of God. We know that we serve of God. He is faithful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank in God. Hallelujah. In advance for what he's going to do and what he has already done. Amen. I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to all of you. I appreciate you so much. Praise God. As we're here in November, praise God. Coming up to uh, Thanksgiving and going into December, I want to say thank you for standing with Spirit of Excellence, praying and teaching ministry as we go forth in the name of Jesus. Lifting up that name. That name is not about us, but it's about the kingdom of God. Amen. The word today is the promises, the promises, the promises of God, the promises of God, standing on the promises of God. The word today is standing on the promises of God. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. If you've been listening to the prayer conference pre-recorded -pre line, praise God, we've been talking about the promises of God. Amen. As we go in today, we will be in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse number 20 is our focal scripture. Amen. We're talking about the promises of God. We know one thing I can say before I even say anything or go into the scriptures. We know that God is faithful to his promises. Hey, amen. We're not here to convince you of that. We know that God is faithful to his promises. And we know that when he said, yay, it is yay and it is amen. Yay means yes and amen. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. Praise God. I want to encourage someone standing in this season. Praise God. It's easy to stand when everything is going well. Praise God. You have everything you need. Praise God. You don't have anything going on. But the test is, can you stand under pressure? Can you stand when things are not going so well? Well, today, praise God, I want you to continue to stand on the promises of God because the promises of God are yes and amen. I want to encourage that person today. Praise God. As we go into Thanksgiving season and holiday season, I want you to be happy this season. Be thankful. Be grateful. Thank God for protection. Thank God for providing for you. Thank God for keeping you. Thank God we are still here. Glory be to God. Anybody hear me? Amen. Thank God for the grace and the mercies of God that we are still here. If it had not been, hallelujah, glory be to God for the Lord on our side. Glory be to God. Where would we be today? My God, help me, Holy Ghost. How let me settle myself down. Amen. As we go into, praise God, the scripture. Second Corinthians chapter one, verse number 20. For all, for all, not just some, not the ones you want, but for all 
for all the promises with an S, promises, so many of them, promises of God in him, in him, in Christ are yea, that means yes, and in him, in Christ, amen, I mean I agree, unto the glory of God by us. Let me read it one more time. Somebody needs to know that all of the promises, for all of the promises, for all the promises of God in him, in him, not in me, not in you, but in him, amen, are yes, oh yea, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Somebody needs to know in him, praise God, we live, we move, and we have our being. In him, we have purpose. In him, hallelujah, glory be to God, we have the promises, and all the promises are yes and amen. When we see here, we know that Paul, praise God, had a great encounter with God, praise God. He was an apostle, praise God, a great apostle, praise God, hallelujah, to the Gentiles. And we know that Peter was an apostle, praise God, to the Jews. But Paul was an apostle to the Gentiles. Amen. As we see here, Paul had experienced great, great tribulation. He had experienced many trials and tribulations and things and come up against him in his ministry. Amen. I want to tell somebody out there today, let you know, just because you're called to me does not mean it's going to be easy. Hallelujah. Just because you are in Christ is not always going to be easy. Praise God. Sometimes you're going to suffer. Amen. Sometimes you're going to be rejoicing. Sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes you're going to be down. But the key today is continue to abide. Hallelujah in Jesus Christ, because the promise is in him, in him, in Christ Jesus is yes and amen. Amen. So we see Paul, praise God, in the midst of all the things he's been through. Amen. He's been tested. He's been tried. Praise God. He anybody been tested. Anybody been tried. Anybody been proven. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, today for the trials. Thank you, God, for the tribulation. Thank you, God, for the blessings. Thank you, God, for protection. Amen. I thank God for it all. Amen. Because the promises of God are yes and amen. Hallelujah, glory. So I thank God for it all because God knows what is best. Amen. He knows the beginning of a thing. He knows the end and he knows the in between. But glory be to God, the promises, the promises, all the promises, not the promises, all the promises. Amen. Are yes and amen. Anybody hear me? Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me move on. We see what we talked about, Paul, praise God, and he was apostle to the Gentiles. Amen. And he always, when he greeted the people of God, he always greeted them this way. He said, grace and peace to you. So I said today, grace and peace to you. What am I saying to you? Grace and peace to you is the favor of God. Praise God. Grace and favor is more than just unmerited favor. The grace and, uh, grace and peace to you today is that God will give you the peace in the midst of whatever. Praise God. And God God will give you the grace to go through the whatever. The word of God says, I can do all things through Christ. Praise God, which strengthens me. Amen. We know, praise God, that's a promise. Praise God. One thing about the promises of God, all the promises of God are yes and amen. There are two types of promises. Praise God. There is the conditional and it's also the unconditional. The unconditional is one that does not have anything that you need to do. The conditional is the one that you need to do something. When you look in Deuteronomy chapter 28, that is the one that we said obey. Amen. Let me look, turn that for a moment. And let's look at that a minute. But that's the one, praise God, that is unconditional. Unconditional means, um, excuse me, conditional. It's conditional. De Deuteronomy 28. Let's look at that a minute. This is a condition. This, this promise comes with a condition. It comes with something that you and I must do. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. Praise God. Just bear me one moment as I find that scripture. Amen. I don't want to just quote it, try to quote it and misquote it. So I just want to use it before I hear it. But if I don't find it at this time, it's Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses, I think one through 10, when it talks about uh, promises with the condition. Amen. It's a condition. It's something that we must do. And then we have the unconditioned, the unconditional promise. That's something that we don't have to do anything. God, he does it all. Amen. Glory be to God because the promises of God are yes and amen. Amen. Let me move on. Maybe I'll find it later. Amen. As we see here, 
Praise God. Let's talk about the promises. When we get into the promises. We see where Paul, praise God, always greet the people with grace and peace. Amen. So I greet you today with grace and peace that it be upon you. That the favor of God be upon you, your family. The grace of God be upon you and your ministry, your business. Hallelujah. And, and you in your personal life. Because God has a purpose for you. He has a plan for you. Amen. And God is shifting some things. Amen. God is turning some things around. God is opening some doors and God is closing some some doors, but praise God to whom all blessings flow. Amen. I'm going with a shift. I'd rather be the Lord's side. Amen. Anybody shifting with God, anybody going with God, let's go with God. Amen. The promises of God, all the promises. I want to say the, but it's all the promises. I want to make sure I say that correctly. All the promises of God are yes and amen. I want just to go over some just for your hearing to reflect in this Thanksgiving season. As you sit down with your family, begin to reflect and thank God to mark, thank God on Thursday for all the things that God have done for you. Begin to reflect. So, so we see one promise that nothing can separate us from God's love. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8 and 35. Who can? Who can separate us from the love of Christ? Amen. The answer is no one and nothing. Glory be to God. Amen. Not life nor death, angels nor demons nor power or living creature. Nothing, nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. That's a promise. Romans 8 and 35. Amen. Glory be to God. Let us look at Romans 8 and 31. It said, if God, if God be for us, who and what can come against us? What can come against us? Nothing. God's promises that will never be without his love. His promises always come with his love. Amen. Everything, everything will work out for your good. A promise. Romans 8 and 28. And we know, and we know that in all things, in all things, God works for the good of those, for those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8 and 28. For those who love him, those are called according to his purposes, his promises. These are powerful words here. In all things, in all God's works, for his good, in everything, everything, not just the good things that happen, but also in the things that are not good, and the things that you're not sure about. I want you to know today that Romans 8 and 28 give us a promise, and the promise is that all things work together for the good. They may not feel good, but they are working out for our good because God has a greater blessing on the other side, amen, of your shift. Amen. And we also know that the promise of protection, praise God to whom all blessings, blessings flow. Thank God for God's promise of protection. Psalms 91 and 3. We know that Psalms 91 it covers the protection. But Psalms 91 and 3, it says, For he will rescue you. He will rescue you from every good God of mine. I feel like running. I feel like shouting. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease. Good God of mine. Glory. Anybody know? Amen. The enemy sits traps for God's people. God said he will protect us. He said he will rescue us. Praise God and protect us. Glory be to God. God's promises of protection. Praise God. Even in an uncertain world. Praise God. In uncertain times, God will protect you from every trap of the enemy. No weapon. Glory be to God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Isaiah 54 and 17. We're standing on the promises of God. And the promises of God, all the promises of God are yes and Amen. Amen. Isaiah 26 and 3 said, You, he will keep you in perfect peace, whose mind, hallelujah, is stayed fast because he trusts in you. God will keep you in perfect peace when your mind is stayed on him. This is a promise. Amen. Glory be to God. Anybody feeling better? Praise God. Anybody feeling better in their spirit? God will be near. Glory, I promise. God is near. James 4 and 8. Come near. To God, and He will come near to you. What I'm saying, pray, get in the face of God, get in His Word, get in His presence, praise and worship. He said, Come near to God, and He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. Hallelujah, you double minded. James 4 and 8. 
because we know that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. When we draw closer to God through prayer and reading his word, praise God, praise God, he comes near to us. Amen. What a beautiful invitation. I'm inviting someone to come closer, somebody to come to Christ today in your relationship with the Lord. Make him the Lord of your life. How do you make him the Savior of your life? Make him everything in your life. The promises, all the promises of God are yes and amen. Praise God. And then he gave us the promise of prosperity and not harm. Glory be to God. Isn't that good to know? For Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you. God wants to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Good God Almighty. It's so much promise in that one scripture. He wants to, he has plans for you. He wants to prosper you. Praise God that it's not going to harm you. He has plans to give you hope. Praise God. And he's going to give you in the future. Praise God. We're going to have everlasting life. Eternal life. Amen. But he wants to have abundant life on this side of heaven. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. The more we listen to God's word, the Bible says in Romans 10 and 17, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more that we hear the word and listen to the word and apply the word to our life, the more we come in alignment with God's purpose and his will. Amen. His plan is to prosper you. He wants to prosper you. God's ways is righteous. Hallelujah. And he does wish that any one of us would fall. Praise God. He is want us to prosper. He wants to have a good success. Praise God. He wants to have good life. Amen. Praise God to him. He wants to have that joy that's unspeakable and full of his glory. Good God Almighty. I'm talking about joy, not happiness. Happiness is just something that something happens and you're happy about it. When it's gone, it's over. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. Praise God. And glory to God. And when you have the joy in him, my God, thank you, Jesus. Everything can be going any kind of way, all kind of ways. But when you have the joy of the Lord on the inside, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Because the joy of the Lord is unspeakable and it's full of God's glory. Joy is a gift that God gives us. Amen. It's a fruit of the Spirit. Glory be to God. And then there's there no more condemnation. How do you Romans 8 and 1? Isn't it good to know that when you're in Christ, there's no more condemnation? Amen. The enemy's always trying to accuse the brethren. Praise God. But God said, it's no more condemnation. Now there is no more. There is no condemnation for those who belong to Jesus Christ. Amen. Romans 8 and 1. Isn't it good to know? Amen. When you're in the hands of God, how do you have the victory? How do you in the hands of God? You have more than enough. When you're in the hands of God, hallelujah, you can make it. When you're in the hands of God, you can go through the fire and come out looking not, not like smoke, not even smelling like smoke. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I feel like running. I found the scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 28 is a condition. It comes with a condition. Amen. These promises in Deuteronomy 28, because it says here, you will experience all these blessings. It's a listen now. This is the key. If you, this is the condition, this is a conditional bless. this is a conditional promise. All the experiences, all the blessings, if you obey the Lord your God. And then it goes on to tell you what will ha happen. You will be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in your basket. But the condition is that you obey the Lord your God. Amen. That is Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 2 through 6. That is a condition. It comes with a condition. It's something that you and I must do in order to receive the blessing, in order to receive the miracle. That is something that we must do. Amen. Somebody said yesterday, I heard, praise God, that in order for you to get the miracle from God, you got to shift. Somebody needs to know that you may, you can't get the, the miracle until you shift. And not only do you shift, you repent of your sins and you get in the face of God. Glory be that thing stirred me up in my soul. It says some of us can't get the blessings, can't get the miracle until we shift. What does that mean? Until we go in the way and the order of the steps of God. Until we get in the place where God wants to be and doing the things that he wants to do. That does not mean that we're not going to fail. We're not going to be successful. That's not that because we all have fallen short of the glory of God. But until you shift, that thing really stuck with me. Until you shift, until you're ready to change, until you're ready to go to another dimension in God, until you're ready to seek more of God and want more of God and want more for your life, want more for your business, want more for your ministry, want more for yourself, want more for others, until you shift, you cannot receive the miracle. Glory be to God. I feel like preaching that. Amen. I thank God for the man of God that preached about that yesterday. Amen. Praise God about the shifts. Amen. We in a shift season. Amen. Praise
praise God. And then he said, you don't want to be sifted. I don't want to be sifted. I'd rather shift. Amen. Anybody with me? I'd rather for God to shift me than me to be sifted. Glory be to God. Somebody needs to know that you have the victory. You have the victory. Amen. A promise. The promises. All the promises of God are yes and amen. Coming from second Corinthians chapter one, verse number 20. You have the victory. Eight Romans 8 and 37. No, despite all things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ Jesus. You don't just have the victory. You have overcoming power. You have overwhelming victory. You have uh, more than a conqueror victory. You don't just have the victory. You have the overcoming power, the overwhelming victory in Jesus Christ. No matter what you go through, no matter how hard things may seem, overwhelming victory is yours. Somebody need to know today, overwhelming victory is yours. Victory, how you will happen in your life. Persevere through the storm. Persevere. Keep persevering. Keep holding on. Keep seeking God. Your day, your change will come. Amen. Your blessings on the way. Amen. When God bless my brother and my sister, my, I know that God is setting me up. I'm in line for a miracle. I'm in line for a blessing. It's no time to get jealous, but it's time to celebrate. Glory be to God. I heard some news yesterday about a ministry out of North Carolina. Praise God. I'm so excited for them. Hallelujah. Apostle. Praise God. Winstead. And praise God. Hallelujah. Apostle Farmer. I'm so excited for them. It's a blessing. Praise God. When you can go and you can buy and buy and purchase your own ministry. Praise God. With zero debt. Good God Almighty. Debt free. Amen. If you believe good things for someone else, praise God. Something good can happen for you. I'm excited. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hey, they waited on God. They endured. They went through some stuff. It didn't just happen, but I'm so excited. It's like I was getting a new ministry. It's like I was getting some land property. It's like God was paying off some and full in debt for me. Good God, I feel like preaching, y'all. I feel like preaching. Praise God. That's a Thanksgiving message all by itself. Praise God. When you can go to the bank and say, here is all the money. Praise God. You don't have to put no, nothing on no credit. Glory be to God. And the, and the building is there. Praise God. It's, it's fully paid. Amen. The land and the building fully paid. Good God Almighty. Couldn't nobody do that but Jesus. That's a miracle from God by yourself. Amen. I'm celebrating with them. Glory be to God because my time will come. Your time will come. If you can celebrate someone in their victory and in their success, your time will come. What you sow in, you sow where you want to grow. You sow where you want to go. Good God I feel like preaching because the promises, all the promises of God are yes and amen. Amen. Praise God for them. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. All the trials have purpose. Have purpose. Promise of comfort. We got the promise of comfort. Glory be to God. Got the promise of strength. Oh, so many promises. So many promises. Promises that God will lead you. Psalms 32 and 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? To know that God will not just, he will instruct you and then he's going to teach you in the way that you go. And I will counsel you with my eye upon you. That means God is watching over us. He's protecting us. Praise God. Glory be to God. I want to encourage that leader. Praise God. It's no time to quit. No time to give up. Praise God. God is doing some things in the body of Christ. He's doing some shifting. He's blessing. Glory be to God. And I'm excited about what God is doing. Somebody know it's your time. Amen. Praise God. It's your time. Amen. Somebody know it's your time. God will guide you. Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6. Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on all your own understanding. In all your ways, all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make the path straight. Glory be to God. Isn't it good to know that God going to make the crooked places straight? Isn't it know that God can prepare a table for you in the wilderness? Isn't it good to know that God can open up the windows of heaven and pour out you a blessing that you can't receive when you pay your tithes and your offering and you give in the kingdom of God? Holly, you can't be God. You can't be God's giving. Praise God no matter how you try. We can't beat what God does. Amen. Glory be to God. God has a way. Hallelujah. It's mighty sweet. God has a way. Praise God. We don't understand sometimes, but one thing I know, God has a way, and it's mighty sweet. 
Praise God to whom all blessings flow. I just want to get us stirred up in this holiday season to know that God, we have so much to be thankful God, for God for. We got the promise of wisdom. Glory be to God. James 1 and 5 and 6. Guard in our hearts and minds. Praise God. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Woo! And God will not let you fall. Psalms 37, 23 and 24. The Lord make us firm the steps of one who delights in him. Through may, though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord hold him with his hand. My God, isn't it good to know when you're in the hands of Almighty God, amen, that you have the victory, overcoming power, overwhelming victory, overcoming power, overwhelming victory. Somebody to get in your spirit. You got the victory. God will lead you and he will teach you. Psalms 25 and 9. He said he leads the humble in what is right and teaches in his way. Glory be to God. The humble, those that humble themselves, God said in due times, he will reward you. Praise God in due time because you have humbled yourself. Praise God before almighty God. God is love. We know that's the greatest promise. One of the greatest promises that he gave his love for us because he gave, he gave us his only begotten son that we could have everlasting life. Amen. The promises of God, the promises of God, all the promises. All the promises of God. Let me read it for the closing. All for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Amen. Thank God today for reminding us. Sometimes we just need to be reminded. Amen. Praise God. We are winners. Amen. We are winners. Praise God. In the body of Christ, we win. Amen. We win. Amen. I'm winning. You're winning. You got to confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart that you are winning. You have to believe in your heart and confess these promises on a daily basis. Praise God. Because you are overwhelming. You have overwhelming power. How the Holy Ghost power. And you have overcoming power to conquer whatever comes in front of you. God's already. Praise God. We have a victory because of Jesus Christ and him. We live, we move, we have our being. Not nothing we have done, but because his promises say, because all of his promises are yes and amen. And the ones that are conditioned are the ones that come with what we have to do. And then that's the unconditional. And those are the ones that God do. Because God has no respect of a person. For what he can do for one, he can do for another. It's according to your faith, so be it unto you today. Amen. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that I have helped someone to come up in the spirit. Amen. To let them know, praise God, that they are on the winning side. Somebody needs to know today that they have the victory. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God to whom all blessings flow. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Let us praise before we go out. And I want to invite someone to come to Christ. Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ, this is your day. This is your opportunity to give your life to Christ, to Jesus Christ, while you still have time. Praise God. Thank God today for the blood of Jesus that he shed it for us on Calvary. How the death, the burial, hallelujah, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thank God today, hallelujah, for saving us. Thank God today for protecting us. And so, Father, I'm just asking you in Jesus' name, as those that come to Christ today, praise God that you will lead and guide them, that you will fill them with the Holy Ghost power, the power that we need, hallelujah, that everlasting power, that power on the inside of us, hallelujah, that we need, hallelujah, your spirit, resting, ruling, and abiding on the inside of us. And, Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do. Lord, I'm asking you to bless each and every family. Each and every home, hallelujah, that's represented here. Lord, knowing that, that God will supply every need according to his riches and glory. Let them know that they have the victory in the name of Jesus. And let them know that no weapon formed against them, no weapon formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Spirit of excellence, praying and teaching ministry. I want to say happy Thanksgiving to you in advance. Praise God. Be safe. Enjoy yourself. And just remember, just reflect on what God has done. Praise God, because there is more to come in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of excellence, praying and teaching ministry, Prophet Charlene Miles Price. You know, you know, you know. I love you, love you, love you. And I'm sending hearts of love in Jesus' mighty name. Have a blessed day.